take three, I think. Asking the public question. On the 1st of January, I delivered six letters to various county councillors in this area and, chair and the Lord Mayor and the Chairman of the Council were part of that. And for those who don't read the blogs, this is what the public question was. I wish to know when the victimisation and criminal negligence by elected and non-elected officials of Cardiff County Council is going to end. As highlighted in my blogs and videos on YouTube and found on http colon two forward slashes bbc crazy com, so that I might be rehoused in a bungalow where I will not be subject to the prejudices of the well adjusted and live in a home where my peaceful enjoyment and rights of privacy, as outlined in the Human Rights Act, are not violated on a daily basis. In the meantime, I would like installed ASAP, a push-button system for lighting the landing and stairs at 15, blah de blah de blah so I no longer have to go out every night in order to switch it off to save this council money. It's the 26th of January now. Apparently, council officials are looking into that original question. Uh, but nobody's contacted me regarding the push-button system, so I don't have to go and save this money, council monies because they got loads to blow on light in the hallway and stairs for the tenant of, or the person who owns the property above, but uh, refuse to put a fence up for me at the back so I don't get stuff nicked out of my garden, don't get stuff damaged in my garden. Mm. Anyway, found out from Judith Woodman that that might not be um, acceptable because it relates to an individual, so... Uh, I resent it. In the meantime, things cross as they do, and um, yeah, I'll read the um, the reply from Jeff Parry. Request to submit a public question to the council. The letter is dated the sixth of January. I really received it on the eleventh. Uh, it was frank for the ninth, but there we go. Snail mail. I refer to your letter addressing, uh, addressed to a number of councillors in which you ask that you be allowed to submit a public question at the next council meeting on the 22nd of January 2009. There are a number of procedural rules relating to the submission of public questions which need to be adhered to and a copy of the rules is attached for your information. As the question relates to your own personal uh, particular circumstances, I regret to inform you that the proper officer has rejected your question under paragraph 11.5.5 of the, these procedural rules as follows, 11.5. The proper officer may reject the question if it, 11.5.5, relates to an individual, group or business or to the questioner's own particular circumstances. I would add that the issues you have raised in your letter are being pursued by council officials. I must also raise with you two instances when you first recorded images and sound of the council meeting on the 18th of December and second, more recently, your recorded images and sound of Councillor Roland James on a private premises. You were advised at the council meeting that you were not allowed to take photographs, but it is clear from the YouTube clip that after that warning, you placed the camera in your bag and continued to record sound. Such behaviour will not be permitted again. If you ignore this advice, you will be removed from council premises. Should you wish to see and hear the proceedings of council, you may do so by accessing the council's internet site and viewing the official webcast. In relation to taking of images or individuals on private premises without their consent, you breach his or her rights under the Data Protection Act. You should consult the Information Commissioner or his website for guidance as to the circumstances in which such images may be recorded. Yours is Jeff Parry. Those are the procedural rules Jeff um, sent me and as you can see I've highlighted a bit the 11.5.5 bit um, because that relates to my supplementary question you're allowed one under the procedural rules but what caught my eye the first time I read this was that um, I have an email from Councillor Ed Bridges, who was one of the six, saying that he could not access um, my blogs or my videos on YouTube via the Council's website. He was unwilling to go to um, a 
the local internet cafe to do so. He was unwilling to go to um, the local library and he was unwilling to go to his probably his um, central office where they probably have a computer that can watch anything. So that was the one thing that really got me thinking, well, <clears throat> an, elect, uh, an elected council official is has viewed my YouTube thing to mention it there. Um, in the blog relating to all this, I have mentioned that, well, excuse me, but there's another blog on the, uh, uh, there's another video on YouTube where Councillor Anne Roland James is opening a new gate and she seems happy enough to have that there. Um, well, they got to take the rough with the smooth, haven't they? You'll notice in their um, Capital Times, they're um, they're happy to be um, photographed there. Good landlords recognised. We have um, Judith Woodman in amongst all those. So it appears that they only want to be um, videoed or photographed at their convenience rather than being held accountable for stuff. It's also interesting that this is the weekend, good weekend to very bad news Dave, here it is, that undercover journalists are investigating um, House of Lords members who are willing to take cash in order to um, ask a supplementary question or amend legislation. Undercover journalists and everybody's going, well, mm, glad they did that, aren't you? Well, perhaps County Council ought to be able, um, or the citizens in County ought to be able, glad Crazy Dave can do that, aren't you? i got to stop this now because I'm running over time with a full lens. Well, so that's that.